everyone. Um, so I wanted to film this video before I put all the stuff away that I purchased um, from my haul. I call it my craft tour, um, affectionately. Um, and that when I when I say craft tour, I mean I visited um, most of, most if not all of the craft stores, the larger craft stores in my area. Um, so today I went to Hobby Lobby, then to Michaels, and then to AC Moore. And I don't know if everybody's familiar with AC Moore, but it's pretty much the same as like a Michaels. Um, sometimes more expensive, but anyway, um, I went there as well. I did not go to Joann's today, and I'm not sure if I'll go there tomorrow, but we'll see. So um, these items I bought at AC Moore, and um, they had a 25% off your total regular price purchase today so I used that coupon and got a couple of different things this is some they call it designer tape by Studio G and this one has music notes on it it is um, similar to washi but if you look at it it actually has a um, sorry I'm not in camera let me see if I can make this lighting any better either too okay it has a uh, that waxy sticky uh, not sticky but waxy paper on the back that you have to peel off so this is decorative tape based on what shown in the packaging um, and there's 16.4 feet in here um, so this one has music notes I got a couple of different kinds this one has a tape measure and it's blue this one has some purple and green flowers. This one has numbers. Sorry. This is Studio G numbers. Um, I got another one of the measuring tape because I liked it so much. And these ended up being 75 cents a piece because of my coupon. Let me see if I have any more back here. I think that was it. So that's for the tapes. I got some, um, also some Smashbook tape. This was a dollar. All of their Smashbook stuff was on sale, and I did. I have most of it already, but I did not buy the tape before. So this is like a clear tape, not a washi tape. So if you look at this, you can see right through it, and it's kind of got a heart, kind of like a, um, it, I want to say. Mexican, Mexican. I don't know how you how you want to describe this. It's got kind of like a. It's got a heart in it, but you look at it, it's kind of looks like a. Um, southwestern. That's the one I, word I want to use. <laughs> southwestern kind of pattern. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Um, and then I got this one, which I didn't have, and this is more like your washi tape. This is also ninety nine cents. And I think that's it for the tape. Um, I got some things from their dollar bin. Their their dollar bin was on sale. This was um, making memories. These are those little market stickers. I have these in black, but these are pink and they've got some a different pattern in it as well. Kind of got that notebook feel. So you get two sheets. So this was originally a dollar sixty six, and um, I got these for seventy five cents. And then I got a couple of more things that were in that same bin. Got two of these sets of letters. These are by Kane Company. And I got these stickers, which are also were also a dollar, and these are like the um astrological signs. Um this one is called Generation Y. These are again, these are all Kane Company. And then this one is Generation X. So really cool stickers. They're dimensional. And then this last set, again, um, this one is from Basic Gray from the True Love Collection. And these are wax seals. These are really cute. So those were all 75 cents. And then I got two sets of envelopes. I'm thinking about making a mini album um, using these. But not sure yet. But these envelopes um, were a dollar. Um, 
And I think they came out to 75 cents as well because um, they were marked down. Um, and there's 20 pieces in here, and it's it's all um, kind of, I guess, your romance sort of envelopes. So they're really cool. They're all different. There's a couple of each design. I want to say since there's 20 and 1, 2, 3, 4, there's probably five of each design. So, oh, and here's the back so you can see the actual designs. So, yeah, those are the envelopes I got, each for a dollar, or 75 cents, really. Then I got these little wooden um, flowers as embellishments. I'm going to use these on a project I'm going to work on. Uh, oh, there's another washi tape. Or, I'm sorry, another clear tape. This one was also a do dollar. And again, it's got that southwestern look. It's orange and blue. But it is clear, so you can see through it. And then, oh, oh, I have, I showed that one already. I have a couple more wood embellishments. So I got this one, which is a square pattern. This was um, a dollar. And then there's a round one. And I bought it to go on top of this box that I'm going, or I'm sorry, cylinder that I'm going to work on. And it, you can see it fits on the lid perfect. Well, it's not exactly the same size as the lid, but a little bit smaller. So I got that. These were a dollar. The box was... Uh, it's not a box. The cylinder was a dollar, too. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. I don't know why. Um, and then um, I was walking around and I found this Doris, um embossing folder. It's five by seven, and there's only one in here, but it's kind of like, a, I guess, a burlap or plaid sort of um, design and it was two dollars I didn't have that yet and I got two clips to these big bulldog clips I'm going to use these for my um, Diane Reevely journal to hold the pages down when I'm um, working on each of the pages so these were a dollar sixty nine and they were twenty five percent off so I got those, and then I got these great deals on some Sizzix dies. These are all Biggs dies, and these are the older ones, but they were $10 each, so I got this one. I got this one. This is a basic gray um, die. You can see the flower. I got this uh, bunch of leaves. So you can see the price there, $10. And then I got this crown and the word diva. So I thought that was really a great deal on, on Sizzix dies. And I also got in the mail today my last Prima doll. Yay! So I have all six now in the set. And I've also got the tag pad. Um, the other thing I got from AC Moore is this box, and I'm going to try and show it to you. I probably have to pick the camera up. This box here, um, I got two of them. You can see I got this blue top and the one that has a black top. But there's actually four in here. There's a 12 by 6.5 inch. There's a 12 and a 3 quarters by 12 and 3 quarters. That's this one that we're looking at. And then there's two five and three eighths by six inch boxes. So there's actually four boxes in this set, and the set was ten dollars. Um, I'll I'll come out a little bit, so you can see all four boxes here. The other boxes are inside of this box. So I got two different um, colors because my craft room is actually blue and black and white. Um, <clears throat> or actually, it's got that dark brown color too. So that's what I got from AC Moore. I'm going to show you next what I got from um, Michaels and Hobby Lobby. Hopefully I don't have to break this up into two videos, but I may have to. I'm just going to dump it all out <laughs> if I can. <laughs> so I went to Hobby Lobby. I got one of these door hanging signs so that I can put it on the door when I'm filming videos and my husband doesn't walk in on me and I have to start all over again. So I'm going to make that sign. I got these 3XL bead holders. I got four of these. They were $3 each. 
I got some little um, balsa boxes. I'm going to decorate these. So my husband, he makes jewelry sometimes. And um, when I say he makes jewelry, he actually um, went to school for jewelry making, um, among other things. So he can, you know, solder and he can make all kinds of rings and necklaces, all kinds of things, bracelets. His work is beautiful. But um, I figure if he makes a ring for somebody, like a relative, we can put it in this box. I'll decorate the box and give it to them as their gift. Because he usually does that for Christmas for them. Um, at Hobby Lobby, their gemstone, um, gemstones by the Paper Studio was on sale today. And I think maybe today is the last day. I don't know. It was 50% off. So this was $3. So it was half off of this. And I got a couple of different kinds. So this, I don't know where to put it all while I'm showing you. I got this string. There's three strands in here. Um, I got these. These are smaller. I showed you these already. I showed you these. Um, that's another repeat. Here's some gray ones of the same size. Um, these are like your champagne color, same size. And then the smaller size of that. Basically, whatever they had in the flatback pearls, I purchased because I don't have a lot of that. I've been buying bling and not the flatback pearls. So um, you'll see that some of these are $2.99 and some of these were $3.99. The long strands were $3.99, I believe. But again, they're half off. So I think I got a good deal on them. So that's what I got in terms of the flatback pearls. I uh, also got some of the Tim Holtz lanterns. These were regular price, so $6 for these. Um, I don't see these very often, so when I saw them, I thought I'll buy two and give them a try because I want to do a shadow box. Um, so I bought two of those. I've showed you these already. Sorry, I'm trying to sort through them all. Um, again, these gemstones were $3.99 and they were half off, so I got these. And then I got this set. So those are flowers and butterflies, I believe. Um, this set, which is more like your shabby chic sort of type. And then here's a black and cream rhinestones. Um, and I got two sets of those. And then I got these, which are um, houndstooth. So those are houndstooth, different colors. Um, some more of the pearls. Those are the same thing. These are zebra, or no, leopard print, sorry. <laughs> uh, and then I got um, this compass um, set, and these were a regular price, so they were $5. I got some of the clocks, and there's more of the rhinestones. Let's see, these little turners that I guess are winders, for like an old alarm clock type thing. And those were regular price as well. I used my 40% off coupon on this since it was $8. I got these Ranger um, Embossit pens, black and white, and these were $5. I found these potty people in balsa wood in their wood section, and these were $1.99. And then the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby is this string of beads. The, all of their... All of this brand of beads, which is the Brilliance, I think it's Bead Treasures, these were all 50% off. So I don't have a whole lot of bigger beads, and you can see these are quite large. And I think these are glass or crystal. I don't know. They're cold, so they're not plastic. I'm assuming they're glass. But that's what I got at Hobby Lobby. And I think I'm going to ha have to split this video into two because I'm almost at 15 minutes and I can't upload it from my phone if it's too large. So I will do a second part of video for my Michaels haul. Thanks for watching. Bye.